Hey everybody, good to have you here again. Uh, I'm going to be integrating trig today, so get ready. It's going to be lots of fun, but let's go with a joke. What do you get from a pampered cow? Spoiled milk. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Ha -ha -ha. Okay. Here we go. Man, you guys, um, I'm going to get tired of that one day. Okay, so today we're talking about integrating trig functions. I'm going to write these in live. Okay. Now, the way I like to think of this is this is a great little tool, and you're going to see it often when I teach. If I differentiate, it goes down this way. When I integrate, it goes up this way, right? So sine will differentiate to cos. Cos will differentiate, differentiate to negative sine. Sign, negative sign will differentiate to negative cos, and then the same will work if I integrate that way. Okay, great little tool. So if I integrate cos x dx, I get sin x plus c. If I integrate sin x, I get negative cos x plus c. And if I integrate sec squared, because true to form, tan is always the black sheep, this just becomes tan x plus c. Okay, that is your most basic kind of um integrations it's the stuff that we know now what you're more likely to see is uh, i guess some of these kinds of things where we start to have functions inside our cos sine and sec okay so what happens here is if we have cos ax plus b it's kind of like normally the a would come out to the front if we were differentiating so in this case instead of multiplying by a we're going to divide by a so here, it's going to become one on A. Now, we remember that cos differentiates to, oh, sorry, integrates to sine. Your bracket will stay the same. And then you have your plus C. And again, if we integrate sine, we're going to be left with negative cos. But again, that A in front of the X in differentiation would have come out to the front to multiply. So integration, we're going to divide it through by A. And sine becomes negative cos. Don't forget your plus C. And also for the sec squared, same deal. We are left with one on A at the front. And we're going to have 10. Of course, this would happen right when I'm recording a video. Let's see if it caught any of that. Oh, it did. Look at that. 1A, 10. Oh. Let's bring this color back. 10 ax plus b plus c okay there's your integrations now let's use it in a couple examples here uh, if i have the integration of 4 sine 2x all that really means for us is i know sine will integrate to negative cosine so this would be negative now there's the 4 from before and there's also the 2 from the thing in front of the x so that's that. And then I've got cos 2x plus c. And just cleaning it up, it gives me negative 8 cos 2x. Oh, whoops. I did exactly what I told you guys not to do, didn't I? Let's, let's start that one again. Okay, so we've got this 4 at the front. Now I know 4 is going to go to negative sign. Well, let's, let's write these. Four is a constant, nothing changes. Now, because of that sine 2x, I'm going to have a half come out the front. Because there's my 2, and it's technically my 1 on a. All right. Put that in brackets. And then sine becomes negative cosine. So I'm going to write times negative cos. Bracket stays the same, plus c. I'm just cleaning up all this stuff at the front. This becomes negative 2 cos 2x plus c. Okay. Okay. Now, for the next one, I'll leave that there. That should be fine. Now, here, if we've got multiple terms, let's just deal with them in the same way. Just a little bit more practice. Uh, in this case here, cos will integrate to sine. So that means it'll be 4 times 1 on 2, because there's the 2 there becomes sine x or sine 2x. And we know that sine or negative sine is going to integrate to 
I look back up here, negative sine is going to integrate to positive cos. So it's going to be plus three times a third cos three X, right? I'm changing it to plus because sine would become negative cos. Um, and so the neg two negatives will cancel, it, cancel out, giving me a positive. And so if I clean this up here, don't forget the plus C, this becomes four on two, which is just two, two sine two X. And this would become three times a third is just one. So it's just going to be plus cos three X plus C. And there's your integration. Okay, keeping this video nice and short and sweet. Um, hopefully that makes sense and happy integrating. See you guys later. Bye.